So I just got back from an inspection of a manufactured housing for a great, great um, elderly gentleman. He was probably in his 80s. Super nice, active. And, you know, a couple of his kids came and they were saying things about the manufactured home. And it really, I realized that they really don't know what they're talking about. I don't even know if they're going to watch this video and say, hey, you're talking about me, but I'm not giving the names. But they were saying a bunch of things that just weren't true. So I've been dealing and in inspecting manufactured homes for a very, very long time. So today, I want to talk about some of the common questions and some of the biggest lies when it comes to manufactured housing. Take it for what you think, but, you know, there is some benefits to manufactured housing that a lot of people just don't realize. And there's a lot of misconceptions out there about manufactured housing. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So stay till the end, because I'm going to tell you one of the biggest, basically, misconceptions about manufactured housing. And I have no idea why people think that way because it makes absolutely no sense. In the meantime, if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification and give the, th uh, the video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. So let's start talking about this. The first thing we gotta do before we get into the misconceptions of manufactured housing is actually explain what manufactured housing is. It's basically a home that's built in a factory, in a controlled environment, but what we'll do is we'll read the actual definition that a lot of people use and then it explains in detail what a manufactured house is and then we're going to go on to the misconceptions of manufactured housing so here let's take a look at this okay manufactured homes are put together in a factory or building in a place put in place by a u.s department of housing and urban development hud the homes are built in, in the factory, starting with a steel frame. The factory then adds layers of insulation and flooring to the system, plumbing and wooden floor net frames. Simple. I'm sure a lot of you knew that. Once assembled in a controlled environment, the home is transported to the home site and installed on a temporary or permanent foundation because it's already assembled a fat manufactured home isn't exposed to the element like a stake built home. So, you know what's, what's interesting? I just saw one not far from here, uh, a manufactured home being lifted with a steel frame onto stilts, like 12 feet up. And that was interesting. So basically they got the okay, I guess from the county saying, okay, this, is, this home is okay to put on stilts. And I found that really, really interesting. And there's a big difference between, you know, mobile homes, when people say mobile homes and manufactured homes, and that's what we're going to look at next. While manufactured homes used to be called mobile homes, the term shifted to manufactured in 1976 with the passing of the National Mobile Home Construction Safety Act. The act passed to ensure the safety and quality of manufactured homes. So, that's one of the false, I mean, you know, people saying, hey, yeah, you, you live in a mobile home, but the mobile home was built in 2010, say, or even built in, you know, 1980. It's not a, man, it's not a mobile home anymore. It's considered a manufactured home. But people still use that term till this day. And I never use that term. When I go inspect somebody's house, even if it's a single wide or a double wide or even a triple wide, I say, hey, you know, this is a manufactured home. Yes, if it's like before 1976, say it's 1970 and it's a single wide, yes, I guess you could use the term mobile home, but a lot of those homes aren't around anymore. Here is a misconception, okay? Are modular and manufactured homes safe to live in? So let's talk about Florida, okay? Because there's a lot of manufactured homes here. So when they put it down there, they have to meet standards. It's not like, you know, you're building a, a uh, manufactured home for 
cold climates with low winds you know say a home that's built for Ohio is not the same type of home built for Florida it's built to withstand hurricane winds up to a point just like your regular house like one of the things that we have to do when we were inspecting a manufactured housing is we want to look you know if there's tie downs so those homes might be secured better to the ground than your particular home I just inspected another manufactured house that had impact windows impact sliders that thing was built like a tank so it really depends on just like it depends on the builder that you hire to build your custom home it really depends on the manufacturer and the quality of the manufactured home so yes in my opinion they're safe to live in because they put it's not like first of all they have to meet HUD standards second of all they have to meet certain codes for each state and each area wind loads if it's up north it's snow loads so yeah that's a myth that they're not safe to live in because I think they're very safe to live in as long as you didn't take a manufactured home that was meant to be out in say Nebraska and you bring it to Florida or vice versa because each one is specific for the area that it's in so some of the homes here in Florida you know they might be meet the codes for some places in Texas because we have kind of the same climate in certain areas so that's a big big misconception let's talk about the next misconception we touched it on it at the beginning but I want to bring it up because it's it's so important to talk about it again okay are they built good so yes I found a lot of them built you know I'll find problems with any home whether it's a custom home that's stick built I'll find problems and I'll find problems with manufactured housing too but at the same time because it's built in an environment okay that is controlled and there's inspections after inspections and they build it one after another after another there's not a lot of customization on a lot of them they're pretty much the basic they worked out all the bugs and everything so they they build the platform you know then they run, put the walls up then they run the plumbing and they're double checked and triple checked a lot of these and I found some of them it's more important not only is the quality really really good of these manufactured homes but it's really important that you can take a good quality manufactured home but when you bring it to the site you got to have somebody there that knows what they're doing the setup is just as important make sure the home is leveled make sure it's on the proper property you know for the home so it's not just the quality of the manufactured home but it's also the quality of the installation so that's a big myth is it built good it's built very well because don't forget they're competing with each other and yes there's a lot of people that build custom Build homes but there's not that many factories that build manufactured homes and they got to compete with each other so you might have hundreds if not thousands of companies that build stick built homes but you might only have I don't know 30 to 100 companies that actually build manufactured homes and they know each other and they have to compete so that's misconception number two let's go to misconception number three they're saying that manufactured homes are a lot cheaper than stick built homes so they must be cheaply made the reason why they're less expensive is because since we go back to their built in an environment so they're building multiple units of the same home yes they might have some customization when somebody's ordering a home but overall the basics is there so they could reduce their cost because everything's built in a controlled environment they could order a lot of material at one time which saves them a lot of money so since everything is built just think about it like the car assembly if they only built you know say a hundred 
F-150s, it'd be really, really expensive. But if they build thousands of them, it becomes cheaper. And it's basically the same thing with manufactured housing. If, if they're building, they're building multiple of them. So they say, hey, you know what? We need eight windows for this manufactured house or 10 windows. But now we're going to, we're building 10 of them at the same time. So let's just order 100 and ask for a discount. So they take that discount, it lowers the price of manufactured housing, and the savings is passed on to you. Hopefully a lot of it is passed on to you. So that's why it's cheaper. It's not cheaper because of the way it's built. It's cheaper because it's built in a controlled environment and they could order a lot of parts for it in bulk. Here's another misconception. You can't get financing for manufactured housing. Okay? You could. Obviously, it may be a little bit more difficult because some banks don't do it. And I'm not a mortgage person anymore. But talk to your lender because, I, especially if it's um, put on your own property, maybe if you put it, go in a park, it might be a little more difficult. But if it's your own property, since I, you know, I asked a few people if they had it financed and everything, and you know, they told me, yeah, FBA did it, USDA did it, FHA did it. So there are choices out there. So when people tell you it's impossible to get financing for manufactured housing, especially on your own land, it's a big untruth. So go talk to a professional mortgage person or go to the dealership that you're talking to. I'm sure they have a few people that specialize in it and they're, they're all lined up. So that's a big misconception that you can't get financing for it. So people say, here, here's one, I'm going to lose value on the manufactured house. So basically just like a stick built house, a manufactured house, if you don't take care of it, and you let it fall apart, yes, you probably might lose value. But if you put a manufactured house on your own property and you really take care of it, I see it increasing. I'm not an appraiser, but I've seen some manufactured homes on their own land selling almost as much, if not as much, as regular stick-built houses because they took care of it, they added stuff to it, they, they added a garage. So it's not, it's a very untruth statement that you're gonna just, you're gonna lose value just like you lose a car when you pull it off the lot. You know, manufactured homes and parks, I'm not 100% sure about that, I'll be honest with you guys, but I'll tell you one thing, if the manufactured house, I've seen some really, really expensive ones and I know they didn't pay that much, but I seen some of them that they were going for three, four hundred thousand dollars on a piece of land. And I know the home doesn't cost that much. So I think that's a really big untruth that you're going to lose value. It depends on the area, but I know, you know, from my past experience looking at some of these homes, they didn't lose value. They, they increased in value. So talk to, uh, your local realtor about that and ask them if you bought a manufactured housing and you put it on property maybe they could pull some comps in the area here's one that the gentleman's kids brought up they like oh manufactured homes you know they catch fire all the time they don't catch fire all the time they're, they're built to certain standards they they have certain fire retardant material in them the, the they, they have to meet certain if they were burning down everywhere, the government would come in and increase the scrutiny on them. But they already meet a very high standard when it comes to fire safety. And just like a regular stick built house, most of the time the fire is caused by human error. So yeah, a, a manufactured home could catch fire, but so could a stick built house. So it's not like you have a better chance of a manufactured housing catching fire than a stick built house. There isn't, in my opinion. Sometimes you guys, you know, they say, oh, we heard like five manufactured homes basically burnt down at the same time. Yeah, because I, he told me about those, those homes, but they were also in a park probably, you know, 15 feet away from each other 
and it was one, once one caught fire, the other four burned too. So that's a big, big lie that, oh, they're prone to fires. Everything's prone to a fire, but they meet standards. So, you know, I wouldn't believe that at all, in my opinion, but I just wouldn't. Okay, this is what I told you what we would say the biggest benefit of a manufactured home is. Biggest benefit of a manufactured home is you save money. They're cheaper traditionally than on-site stick-built homes. And if you're, you're renting right now and you want to get into a home, and this is what you could afford, it's a great stepping stone. You may get in it and love it. You get a little piece of land, you put up a modular home or even a manufactured home. It's a win-win. If you can save 20, 30% and get into your own property, I don't see a problem with that. Some people say, I will never live in a mobile home. Come on, I've seen so many homes that are stick built that I wouldn't give it a time. I wouldn't live in it. I wouldn't buy it. It's just horrible. It's built horrible. And then I went to some manufactured homes. And I'm like, wow, I could live in this thing all day long. So that stigma really needs to go away because the quality of them is either up to a stick built home or surpasses a stick built home. So when somebody says to me, hey, I live in a manufactured home, I'm like, cool, I think it's great. And then as an inspector, I go in there, I'm like, wow, this thing is built really, really well. But like I said, it's on how they set it up too. So that's the biggest benefit of a manufactured house is to cost savings. If you really want a home, you really should look into a manufactured house. It doesn't hurt to, to go to a dealership or two, walk through them, talk to them, gather all your facts, and see if it's a way for you to go. Anyways, that's today's video. Do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you.